hey guys welcome back to my channel i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram so every week i remove one ingredient topic and this week was apple sauce so i thought why not show you guys how to make an apple sauce from scratch and also that we can make a tea cake out of it so here we go first what i'm going to do is we're going to make the apple sauce for the tea cake so i thought i'll show you how to make an eggless apple sauce uh, uh, tea cake so it's very simple to make so here i have take you need around 3 4 cups of apple but you can make apple sauce in advance also so basically what you need to do is you need to take some chopped apples and cut them into slices i prefer making them into smaller size slices because it helps it to cook better but you can cut into big slices also so here because it's around 3 4 cup i required approximately 1 cup 1 apple so i've used only one apple but if you want to make bulk and use the apple sauce uh, that's also fine so when i tell you apple sauce apple sauce is a one of the best substitutes if you want to use something you know you want to make any recipe which has egg into eggless it helps to give good moisture to the cake and it's a good binding agent so mostly even for gluten free or eggless cakes you will see a lot of people mention apple sauce so so now what i've done is i've taken a pan i've boiled the water once the water is boiled i added the chopped apples into it and once that is done keep cooking it until they have become really soft so this might take some time but once they are soft just uh, remove it from the water i tried taking it from the spoon but i i felt that if you use a sieve it will be much quicker process this was not this took some time and also if you want you can add flavors in the apple sauce like cinnamon uh you know you can add a lemon flavor whatever you feel like you can add in the apple sauce but for this recipe it's just plain apple sauce so once the apples have like cooled down now what i'm doing is i'm just either you can mash them if that's fine but i prefer just making a puree out of it because if it's puree it's just mixed very well and it's nice and soft but if you want you can even mash it also this is very good actually even to give babies to eat okay so apple sauce is going to be it's a really it's like a super food for the kids and they really like it so you can see the apple sauce is ready and also make one thing that apple sauce already has a little bit of water content in it so your cake is going to be a little uh, softer or moister you know that is going to happen So here first now for the cake I've taken around 3/4 cups of apple sauce so I've added whatever the apple sauce is required you can make more apple sauce cling wrap it and use it whenever you feel like so that you can do so now I have in this recipe I've taken regular caster sugar but you can take uh rock in sugar if you use jaggery again this cake is going to be very sticky but that's up to you if you want to use it. jaggery so i prefer using caster sugar in my cakes more than regular sugar or icing sugar because it's one thing is it's very easy to whisk also the sugar gets dissolved easily and the second thing is caster sugar is more preferably used because you know if you use if you take regular sugar and then you like grind it and all the molecules of the actual sugar it gets spoiled so it's always better to use caster sugar here i have added so for my recipe i have taken multigrain flour but you can take any flour that you like I, this is not gluten free so i have not tried this recipe gluten free i have just taken multigrain flour to make it look healthy you can use maida also regular atta also that is fine so and there's baking powder baking soda you can add vanilla essence but i have used vanilla powder i prefer powder over essence because there is no use of alcohol in it is just regular vanilla powder and a little bit of powder gives a really good vanilla taste so now you can see i'm mixing it really well once everything is mixed well my batter is ready so this batter is ready and also you have to add a little bit of vinegar into it so now i am putting it in a round i prefer if you've seen my videos all my tea cakes i use a ring i don't use a cake tin you can use a cake tin if you feel like or a tea cake mold this is a 6 inch cake ring cake rings are very easy to use i that's why i've added a parchment paper down and another baking tray so that 
it bakes really well and it comes out really clean so there's lesser hassle of uh, you know cleaning the tin and my cake is never stuck to the bottom of the tin so now i've added that so i've added my cake batter into it just flatten it on top and this is just a decoration that i thought of trying is that adding more apple slices on top but if you don't want to do it it's totally fine this is me trying to make a rose out of it but i hope it looks like a rose for you guys i just tried my level best for it and if you don't like it you can add cinnamon nuts anything or just bake the cake plain that is all up to you this is just me because i didn't want to waste the excess extra apples so yeah i'm just i thought i'll make a nice rose effect but this is the maximum that i could do and also my cake is preheated for 10 minutes and 180 degrees but you guys uh, also and i baked it at 180 for 30 to 40 minutes yes this the cake took 40 minutes and always make sure that your cake ring if when you fill it's always half it's not more than half because sometimes you know this you will have the problem of the batter overflowing a little bit more than half is fine but the problem of batter will be overflowing and you can see my cake is ready so this i baked at 180 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes once it's cooled down i have removed it it actually tasted really good so also you can see the softness so you can follow my instagram page and like don't forget to like share subscribe my channel